Hi Leo, it's Elle here to do your August mid-monthly general reading for tw uh, 2017. Um, it's, it's a general read. It will not resonate with every Leo who views the video. If it does resonate with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Thank you to all who have subscribed to the channel, uh, who's commented, shared videos. Also, thank you to all of those who have um, requested personal readings. If you'd like a personal reading, I have a new special going on. It's $15 for 15 minutes. Um, I'm finding that I'm, that the $10 10-minute 10 special, it was never 10 minutes. I, can, I always went over. Uh, so 15 minutes is pretty adequate. And $15 is still pretty um, reasonable for um, anyone who's wanting a small, you know, a mini reading just to get some clarity on any situation. Okay, so moving forward. Uh, also, you can follow me on Instagram. The handles are below. You can choose to fund the page by clicking the GoFundMe link. Uh, what else? What else? And that's it. Uh, email me at tarotofl at gmail.com if you want to request a personal reading. So let's get started. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Spades, the Death card. All right, let's go. Okay, so to start out, we have the Five of Spades, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Could be the energy, could be that you're dealing with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius directly. There is outside interference or reversal in business. If some of you are in business, there might be some reversals, might you know, some bad business going on, but there's outside interference. Uh, we've got the Queen of Diamond, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, a really good man or woman, really um, sound, um, financially stable, makes good decisions, doesn't make hasty decisions. Um, you won't find this person acting quickly on anything. Um, then the four of diamond uh, could speak of some of you receiving a large sum of money. Uh, inheritance. Some of you might want to play the lottery if you play the lottery. Um, more Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy. Then we have the two of hearts, which would be the two of cups and the right away tarot. Uh, a successful relationship. So that's pr pretty good news. Um, let me fix that then we have a death card the ace of spades um so we know with all endings there'll be new beginnings this could be the death of a thought process the death of a job the death of a relationship uh, a death of a, of a certain way of doing things so we'll pull cards to open this up to see what is really going on with my leos thank you leo for all the viewership um you guys pretty much won for the august love um reading so you guys were first keep up the comments and the viewership that's how your sign you know becomes you know will get their reading done first all right four swords wow so there's some digression so that's pretty good wow that's good some of you could be connecting with an earth sign directly uh knight of pen yeah you are this is nice okay and some of you are connecting with um air sign Okay, we'll take them all. Okay. All right, so we've got the Four of Swords on what would be the Five of Swords and the Right of Weight to row. So after this outside interference, some, you know, some bad energy here, you guys are needing to take a, a, a really, a physical rest or just a mental rest from this whole situation. This is mental energy. Air is um, 
what governs the mental, the thoughts, then, you know, thoughts turn into words. Also, you know, these could be words too. But you're laying your sword down, you're resting, taking a breather from this situation. This is air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Your energy, King of Wands, you're coming up in the highest vibration of your suit. That's pretty good. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Uh, sits on top of the queen of diamond. This could be male or female. And this can also be male or female. Uh, it looks like you guys are connecting pretty well. I mean, there's no issue here. Then we have the, the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy. Um, here's the offer. Probably something to do with this successful relationship here. Um, there's an offer uh extend it to you or you're extending an offer to someone but i really feel like it's being extended to you leo um capricorn virgo taurus energy we all know this this night does not move fast we know that our earth signs love to be strategic and uh methodical and they want to make sure that any offer um, that they do extend is uh, foundational it's firm and um they're going to look at all parties affected and make sure that there's a, a, a decent outcome, at least for everyone involved. Uh, the offer could be of money, inheritance, or something surrounding money or inheritance. Uh, you know, you know, money and inheritance, when we get that card, that also can be something to do with marriage too or the proposal of marriage because when you propose to someone you're offering yourself your life if you are well to do or at least you, you um are financially stable or family is financially stable uh your your partner is um inheriting what you offer so uh just a little note on that Anyhow, uh, we have the Queen of Swords. It could be male or female. Uh, Aries, excuse me, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Very truthful queen. Um, it's looked at as a single queen, but doesn't always have to be. Um, very stern. You you come at this queen the correct way because she, she yields her sword of truth. If you do bring BS, she will cut right through that uh, with her words um smart articulate ambitious okay so you could be dealing with a person of that vibration male or female uh death card something is ending something is beginning knight of swords some of you are definitely connecting with an air sign uh this person is rushing in quickly so some of you who are connect this is really nice some of you connecting with the earth sign here's the offer here's the offer from the air sign um they're coming in quick and fast they want you to accept it they, they're, they're speaking their truth around offering you something um they could be someone from your past or the situation could involve children um nostalgic thoughts of your past uh with this person or just in particular but i really feel like it's with this person here's a new passionate start your energy aries sagittarius leo here's that new passionate start it's beautiful it looks good um, both of you are really driven to make this work driven to to uh, make this a lasting situation whether you're dealing with earth or air now, this looks really, really good. You didn't pull any real, um, quote-unquote, bad cards. Uh, let's see. Ex I mean, except for the five of spades, outside interference. But that even, you know, digressed to the four of, of swords. You know, you just need to take a rest from this whole, that whole debacle. Okay, I go on. Nine of Cups, the wish card. You're getting your wishes fulfilled, possibly with this person. Um, that Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Does not have to be that you're dealing with that person. That sun sign, sun, moon, or rising sign in particular. Just could be the energy surrounding you while, you, while you're taking rest. You, you want your wishes to come true and be fulfilled with um, this person. Uh, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, 
Capricorn Virgo Taurus. Four of Cups. All right, so for some of you, the offer is extended. You're not sure if you want to take it. You're not sure if you take it. Um, a lot of times with the Four of Cups, the soulmate is being offered, um, which uh, another reader always says that. Uh, I think it's Journey in, in Tarot. No, I'm not sure who says that. How can I forget her name? I always watch her. Jeez. Um, yeah. So, yeah, a lot of times a really good person for you is being offered. You're not accepting because you might have yourself tied up in some three of cups type business. Some of, like I said, some of you are dealing with Capricorn directly. Some of you are in a toxic situation, but I really don't feel that here. Some of you are just dealing with Capricorn directly, um, and they're offering you something something really stable. Capricorns are pretty good mates, you know. It's, if, if some of you are dealing with Capricorn, um, yeah, uh, that's, a, that's really good for you. Three of Wands, your energy. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Um, so after... So you might have a decision to make. <clears throat> it involves three choices. One, to stay single. And then the other two is to between two people. With the three of wands, this person has already chosen their, their path. As you can see, the two wands um, stand behind them, and they put their hand on that one wand. Now, what that one wand will be, that's it'll be different for everybody. You'll either accept this offer, this offer, this offer, or you won't accept it, or you'll be hesitant in accepting it. Sorry, guys. Right, so what will you do? I mean, it looks good. It looks like, I think the last, the love reading was like, you guys aren't going to be, yep, when I say you guys aren't going to be single anymore. Um, yep, we got the five of swords again, five of spades. Um, some real nasty communication between you and another party. Uh... It looks like a love reading. So for all of those who came to the reading for finance and everything else, that's not what the universe wants to tell you right now. Um, request a personal reading. We can pull your personal energy and um, go from there. Uh, two of Swords, you've got a decision to make. Will you accept this offer? Some of you are going to make the decision. Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, five of swords you had some fighting some, with your words to where you had to just take a rest and go to the four of swords because it was, it was getting ugly um, wish card so you, you, you wished for a partner you wanted this in your life now you're not sure if you want to accept it or you just have a decision to make between two people earth sign or air sign then some of you could be dealing with another um, fire sign. This is the Sagittarius card. Uh, it speaks about perfect timing. It speaks about patience, waiting. Of all the fire signs, the Sagittarius is the most patient. Um, so you might have to tap into your sister energy, Leo, and be patient and know when to move in this situation um, 
wait wait for mental clarity and use your intuition um pray about this to you know whomever you pray to uh, meditate about it sit with your feelings sit, sit sit with yourself and see how you feel about the situation like literally just sit in quiet in solitude Okay, then we have the Five of Wands sits on the Queen of Swords. So it might have been some, it's competition. It's competition for your heart. It's competition for your, your, um, your time. It might, and it could be some petty arguments too here. There's definitely competition surrounding you. Who will you choose, Leo? This is a good spread. I mean, you're just, some of you are dealing with Capricorn directly. Um, I don't really feel like any of you are tied to a toxic situation. It's, the cards surrounding this devil card are really not um, conducive to me saying that you guys are, most of you, are in a toxic situation. I will speak to a very per, a small percentage of you. Some of you probably are dealing with a toxic situation and you need to free yourself from it, make the decision to free yourself from it, wait for perfect timing in doing so, and then move. But I really don't feel like the majority of you are in a toxic anything. If anything, um, you're just trying to figure out who you're going to choose, which is it's just, it's a good thing. It's a really good thing. Uh, <clears throat> keep in mind the air sign sits on the two of cups. So there's a successful relationship. I don't know if that helps anybody out there. Um, anyhow, get in my comments. Let me know how this turns out. If this resonated with you. If it didn't resonate with you. Um, sorry. Uh, email me for a personal reading. Um, check in with another reader. They might pull your energy. Um, don't Don't be upset. And don't waste your time leaving messages of this did not resonate. Um, quite frankly, no one cares. Just keep going. Keep viewing other readers because ho ho hopefully someone will pull your energy and um, you'll get messages that are for you. But And then also, my people who comment... Um, I read I read all the messages, but I'm just not able to respond to every message. Uh, so do not feel like it's not being read, it's not being heard. But even in that, do know when you write a comment in the comment section, your comment may be helping some other person, some other Leo. They feel like they're not going through a situation alone. Uh, so anyhow. Um, That's your reading, Leo. Your general reading for the rest of the month, rest of August. Uh, check back for your September reading. I think I'm going to do like a little love reading to pull, you know, each partner's energy um, if I have time. I've been so busy. Okay. All right. Take it, uh, I just had to bring this up. Okay. So in the last reading, some of you guys were dealing with someone being ill. Um, the Four of Swords speaks of illness sometimes. Um You've got the wish card on the four of swords. I um, mean, you're, you're hoping and you're wishing for better health for, for them. Uh, keep doing that. Keep seeing your positive affirmations and praying for that person. Um, I'm also praying for my Leos out there who are dealing with health issues or someone uh, around them is dealing with health issues. Okay, so take care, guys. Thank you. Bye.